David Nevins, President, Nevins and Associates, Marketing and Communication. Crisis management is uh, something we, we have to do. And uh, certainly we hope that most of our clients don't have crises uh, on a very frequent uh, basis. I, this is a topic um, on which I lecture uh, occasionally around the country, but often in the, uh, the mid-Atlantic area. And I, I like to tell the story that the, the airline industry uh, in, the, in the early days, they had a crisis management plan and their plan was this, literally, that if, if a plane would go down, they would send a team out to the crash site and they, it was a team of painters. And the first thing they would do is paint out the logo on the downed plane. And uh, that was the beginning of how they dealt with uh, Christ. So then when the TV cameras came, uh, you know, you wouldn't know it was T TWA or United or whatever the case may be. So I'm, I'm proud to say that crisis management has evolved uh, a little bit since, since that point in time. And what we try to uh, teach our clients today is that um, crisis management is really about, uh, it's like a wound and you will, your reputation will begin to heal as soon as the wound is cleaned out. If the wound is not fully cleaned out, then it can get infected and the wound can linger and linger and linger. And we've certainly seen myriad examples of that uh, um, throughout the years. And when I say cleaned out, what I mean is tell the story, be honest, have high integrity, share the information with the public because the American public is, as we've seen, an incredibly forgiving, we're an incredibly forgiving people if we feel we know the entirety of the story. But the philosophy is be honest, uh, be complete, share the story. If you made a mistake, admit the mistake, apologize. Many local restaurants who on occasion have uh, uh, mistakenly um, served food where other you know, folks became ill or whatever the case may be, we, we always just advise them, be honest, admit what happened, um, but uh, otherwise talk about all the uh, safety protocols that you have. And if you didn't have enough safety pro protocols in place, put them in place um, and, and move on with your business. Tell the story what happened and we'll help you tell the story. Um, but be honest about it and have high integrity and, um, and, and uh, your wound will heal. The world of social media today has caused um, a lot of issues for businesses. One of the things that we, we handle a number of local uh, restaurants and one of the things that every restaurant faces is that you, uh, you go in for a meal and let's just say that nine out of ten times uh, you have a fabulous meal and one out of ten and maybe the one out of ten could be one out of one out of a hundred. But uh, whatever that one is, those folks go home and they go on the internet and they go to a rating site and um, they blast the restaurant with, how could this have happened? And I had the worst server ever and I had, my steak was overcooked or undercooked and, and this was rare and this, and so what happened, but the, but the other nine out of 10 who had a great meal Almost none of them ever go home and say, let's go on open table and give that restaurant an incredible rating. Uh, you know, one of the things that we would do with a local restaurant is very much encourage them to encourage their satisfied patrons to uh, review the restaurant and encourage them and incentivize them if necessary, because the fact of the matter is if, if nine out of 10 or 99 out of 100 people are happy with an experience, if we can get more of them to review it and say they're happy, then the happy customers will overwhelm the, uh, the, the unhappy customers. So that's like a, a simple example. But one of the things that social media has done is make sure that uh, marketing and PR firms will always have business. So for that, I'm grateful. <laughs> but it is a very much a rapidly changing world. It's clearly that whole 
world is still in its infancy, and um, we uh, we have to, you know we have to on behalf of our clients help help them deal with it. And I think for the most part uh, we are, but it's it's constantly changing, and you're you're developing expertise in new tools to use to to overcome certain image challenges and 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 uh, how to create a good um, uh, brand for your business and, and so on and so forth.